Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again within the cursed estate after finally beating the next major boss within the farmstead. It went really, really well. We uh, we managed to pull out without too much issue to be honest. Nick, of course, did unfortunately uh, get afflicted, but otherwise everyone uh, got their... Um got their virtues and it went really really well everyone's obviously healing up and de-stressing in here which is for honestly what they really really need but i kind of decided that for this episode we're going to do something uh we're probably still going to go into a mission i'll have a little look what's available but i mainly just want to go over some stuff to do with the series as a whole catch up on diary entries because there's quite a few that i've missed in terms of uh Probably should have been read on the previous weeks. I mean, I kind of didn't because of the farmstead. But um, I'm going to sort of go over those and catch up with those. Kind of talk about what the future plans are for this series. And a few cool things that are going on in the background. That you guys can get involved in, in with. Involved in with. Evolved with. Oh my god, I can't speak. Anyways. But yes, so... Uh, first of all, yeah, I just want to say that in terms of this series, in terms of like... What we're sort of planning to do next. Courtyard is... This is something I know we need to do, killing the Countess. I'm really not sure if we're going to get to the Countess this series. I'm hoping so, but I know that it's a very difficult boss and a very long task, especially going through the courtyard. It could take two to three episodes just for this one thing, and considering we slowed down the series just the one episode a week at the minute, I don't know how plausible that's going to be. Uh, but anyways, we'll get around to it at some point. And then, obviously, there's the Darkest Dungeon. I believe there's three or four levels of the Darkest Dungeon. And essentially, my plan for these is we'll get as many people as we can up to level six. Um, we've already got quite a lot, to be honest. We're, we're really nearing everyone being at level six. So essentially, I want to get um, a few more people to level six, mainly our hard hitters and our healers. So like Eon Fragment, they're two healers. Um... Urku's a really good hard hitter, um, Aaron's a really good healer as well, Venus here's another one that's really good, Lumen I'd like to try out a little more, Smith and Ellis, um, they're both good healers as well, so there's definitely a few more things we need to prepare for before going into the Darkest Dungeon, essentially just to make sure that we have all of our options available, and more importantly, if we are so unlucky as to take any deaths on any of our healers, or big damage dealers, we have backups. We have people in the hamlet that are ready to take the place of the mighty that fall. Because I am sure that during the darkest dungeon, whether it be on the, the end bosses of each dungeon or whether it just be going through, we're most likely going to take a death. And I do know for a fact that if you try and retreat from a darkest dungeon, you do have to leave someone behind. Someone has to stay and fight off while everyone else escapes, and they unfortunately shall perish. So we have to be very ready, very prepared, of which I don't think I am at the moment. I don't think I'm very prepared at all for this. I think it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be enjoyable, but it's going to be scary as all hell. So yeah, I basically, I want to get really prepared by getting everyone to level six, but more importantly, I want your guys' help either in the comments or on the Discord on who we should be bringing to each dungeon. We kind of have the final dungeon planned out in the Discord already, but the other ones not so much. And we really need to be thinking of who's going to be the best group to, to bring. And it's not just about who's going to be the strongest, who's going to be the most overpowered and easily able to beat it. It's also about the lore implications of our characters' backstories. I really want to focus on some of the characters' backstories. I know that obviously some characters have been far more developed than others. Some have very few diary entries, some have none, whereas others have upwards of 10, maybe more. Um, and that's just kind of the nature of having this many characters. Um, it's, go it's going to happen. We're going to have um, a lot more stories to go through. And I feel that one of the maybe mistakes of this series that we took on maybe too many people. And it's convoluted the story. It is nice to be able to see all of the unique classes. I definitely agree on that front. But uh, it does make the writing of backstories a little harder and a little more uh, difficult to sort of keep in line. And I feel... That was one of the big reasons why the series has fallen to being just one episode a week. I mainly did it because we weren't getting enough backstories or like progression each week for it to be worth the two episodes a week. As well as obviously, as, I, as I've said and you guys have seen, The Binding of Isaac on my channel got really big. So I ended up sort of t 
bringing that into the forefront as a daily series and this kind of fell by the wayside even though i still absolutely love this series it's still worth mentioning um, so I want to try and get some of these characters that have high, like higher developed stories or have some sort of uh, affiliation with the Darkest Dungeon itself, such as Will June, to to really go onto the missions that make sense for them and really go onto these missions that that um, are going to round out their stories and come to a conclusion because I, I very much don't want to leave anything unsaid when we finish this series which we're still probably a little ways off um and we're, we're getting there but still it's something i want to talk about and then another few things that i just want to go over um in terms of the series as a whole going forward there is there's sort of been talks between me and a few people in the discord about a second series coming directly after this one basically starting up at the moment this one finishes which would be a series with some other mods that make the game harder and um, some changes to how we play to make the game more difficult um, and some removal of mods that have made the game a little easier mainly lowering our roster count and the amount of people we can take on each week increasing some of the difficulty via um, adding on some mods that add some new enemies or rebalance some enemies and bosses things like that just just some general tweaks that are going to make the game a little more treacherous and that is still definitely something that i have in the forefront of my brain in terms of just thinking about what we're going to do next but it really depends on how long it takes for this series to conclude just because i'm pretty sure that darkest dungeon 2 is rumored to be releasing in 2021 i initially thought it was a 2022 release but if it is 2021 that series will of course take precedent of over Darkest Dungeon, uh, the harder version of this series, because we'd rather play Darkest Dungeon 2 and basically continue this type of series on a brand new game by the same developers. I'm really excited for that game to come out. It looks really good. Of course, the modding scene will be a lot less prominent to start with. Probably for the first year or so, we won't see anywhere near the uh, level of, of modding involvement just due to it being a new game, it being 3D, which makes um, making models much more difficult, things like that. But anyways, I'm still really excited for it and I'm... I'm sort of preparing myself for that so we'll really see when we finish this series as to whether we um we start a new one before darkest dungeon 2 or not and then the final thing i just want to talk about before we fully get into this episode and the diary entries is this weekend this coming weekend which will be the 31st and the first of uh the month uh, following this episode so the weekend directly following this episode i will be possibly doing a live stream on the saturday or the sunday not sure which day yet um and i'll be playing darkest dungeon on a new save file testing out a beta version of a mod that's in development that is a really really big mod that's been teased for a while now and i've been lucky enough to be invited into the content creators testing uh, period and i'm going to be testing it on stream it's going to be really fun i hope you guys can stop by the link to my twitch is in the description so do please check that out and that's going to be kind of a main sort of feature that we'll end up probably playing a few a few bits or a few streams of and it will sort of make up for this episode being a little a little more on the shorter end of things either way let's get into the diary entries that we've missed there are plenty that i need to go over um and sort of sort out the first one here is by t uh, he wrote this actually quite a little while ago um it's almost a month ago now i do believe uh, but I didn't, I don't believe I ever got round to, uh, to reading out. If I did read this out already, um, I do apologize, but I don't remember reading it. Uh, and this is from Benjamin I. Eucharist. Uh, you, I, I never know how to pronounce that. Eucharistian? Eucharistian? In preparations for the final strike against the courtyard, I've been trying to scout out warriors capable of battling the Countess. To do so, I have uh, accompanied some of these warriors on expeditions. I'm not certain what trait to search for. Most can handle themselves quite comfortably in combat. But during the last one, something quite particular happened. Rinaldius, who claims to be a dragon slayer, though I, I know well that no such creature exists, was guarding me from a frightening large worm monster. It drugged him with, uh, dug into him with his tentacles, obscuring his upper half, and crunched a crunch was heard, and blood poured down his armor. I had not expected um, him to die so quickly, but what came as a bigger surprise was when he wrestled out of the creature's grasp and a hole bared into his helmet and losing far too much blood. It just surprised me so much that he spilled some of my drink on him. A lethal concoction. Not so lethal, evidently, as Ronaldius shrugged off the deadly mixture 
and then hacked down the beast with a level of strength far be beyond what his injuries should be allowing. After he re uh, afterwards, he reg regarded um, me with reasonable amount of suspicion. The pressure was starting to wear on him. There is a certain um, tenacity, that, tenacity there for him. Um, I expect to see more great work from this guy, and he is a possible candidate to wade through the more dangerous waters, whether the courtyard or the manor is yet to be decided. I think I shall allocate some funds to make certain uh, he is ready. Sanitarium has proven effective thus far. I may order that he undergo some more expeditions. Train, essentially. Un uh, until I deem him fit enough. The same will need to be done for the other warriors as I continue my search. Very, very well written there. And indeed, something that I'm looking forward to seeing. Renelius has been a, a mainstay in the roster of just a highly skilled and highly able person so he's definitely going to be a candidate for the darkest dungeon next we have um ah yes this guy again and this is just a general diary M uh one moment apologies this one is for lumen as i was making my way to the cemetery to check out the huge body that was buried recently uh one of the vestals approached me I thought I killed them both, but I guess my uh, mastery on this body wasn't that great back then. Oh, you should have seen her face. She was pleading and begging to me to help her. She told me that um, ever since she summoned me, she had been feeling thin and weak. I mean, first off, you summoned a demon, and then you put it in the worst possible vessel, and you're surprised that it took a little revenge her? Anyways, I told her that uh, to get the strength back, she should need some patience and a special ritual because summoning such a holy presence takes part of your life force the ritual will help you get your powers back i'll do some research this will definitely work trust me ah she had such a smile on her face she has no idea what i have in store for this place lumen's really taking a turn we don't know what quite is coming but there's definitely something coming anyways let's get fully into this episode and try and go on a run um we want to be going for a level five uh probably short mission maybe medium um this is level four level four we got a medium here to the curve with the possibility of our thing from the stars there um long medium 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 Lots of memes. Okay, so we do have a short one here. Uh, I think this is probably the best one to go for. And as I said, I want to get out a few of our current level fives that, that would need a little bit of an extra push. So I'm going to bring Eon. Uh, I think that Eon's a great healer that can uh, that can do a lot of good stuff. Um, he does get minus XP, but this should still level him up. He's so close. Uh We'll bring out Urku as well as our hard hitter. I know that he has bleed, but I still think he's really, really good. In fact, we should probably... Um, we should probably maybe look at doing this. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's bring him back over here. Put him in the back line there, and he can, he can charge up front. Because that'll bring him all the way to the front, and then Eon... Hmm, actually that might not work so well because let's 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 take off trample then, shall we, and just go with Tremor. Just because trample's gonna mean that we uh we end up pushing Eon out the way, and I don't think that's a good idea. Um Venus is maybe one that we'd want to level up as well. Uh Victoria is another great one. Um I think we'll bring out Smith and Ellis, uh, try and get them level up a little bit. They're decent healers. And uh maybe Aaron as well as another backline healer. And then we've got two healers, um well, three healers really. Uh, a damage dealer and then a true damage dealer. And I think this will work out quite well. And as well, um Aaron has a really good uh a really good bit of extra damage dealing capability here. So we can go with the debuff target for crits received. Um stress heal there. Mark target block and buff target. With extra crit. Okay, so I think we want to be taking off this and putting on Word of Power here. I think everything else we're able to uh, able to use. Yeah, so we've got go with Word of Power. This is going to do extra damage against uh, the Unholy and Eldritch, as well as buffing the skill itself. And I think this is actually a pretty good setup. Uh, like I said, lots of healing, good amount of damage going into this. And let's, uh, let's see what we want to do in terms of trinketing these guys. Let's see what we want to do. 
So first of all, let's check what trinkets we actually got available to us. Um, plus 25% healing's fine, but I don't think we really require it as much. I think... Let's, let's check out our trinkets for everyone else first. I definitely think we want to go with that. And... Yeah, that's, that's always good with the repose damage there. And then... Check everyone else. Okay, so... Attack skill, mark self for two rounds. And friendly skill, buff target with minus eight crits while marked. And friendly skill, buff target with plus ten crit while marked. This works really well with Aaron, actually, because Aaron can mark people. So I think that this is definitely something we want to try. Go with that there. And um, we could go with the extra... Um, we could go with the, the extra healing chance there. So, plus 50% healing means that we'll be able to heal using, I believe it's this skill here. Yeah, 50%. That's a lot. It does cure Blight and Bleed. So... Hmm. I think I'm going to bring that. I think I'm going to bring that. I think that works quite well. Uh, Then, let's see. Aaron, I know that Aaron has some interesting, uh, interesting things... Extra damage versus marked. Extra stun versus marked. I don't think we really need any of that. Um, okay, this that this guy's going to be... This is kind of a tough one, actually. Um, so let's, let's, let's do you first. So with you, I think we got good HP and everything. Um, who's going to be the AoE healer here? The AoE healer is go going to be Eon, I think, because he has... Um, he has this here. So I think Eon definitely takes the, the last light uh, as his extra healing. And we possibly go for something that's going to allow us to deal a bit more damage across the board as well. I'm not quite sure what's the best for that. Hmm. Let's have a little look-see. This is always the hardest bit, picking out our trinkets here. Honestly, it really is. Um... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going to be best, to be honest. I mean, we could just go with flat out more healing from the Silver Syringe. I feel like that's not a bad idea. We could go with more pro, although I feel his HP is absolutely fine, to be honest. We could go with the Focus Ring. I think the Focus Ring's always always a good shout. Um, Never a bad idea to bring along with us. Or we could go with the extra accuracy and scouting chance. I feel like scouting chance on a short mission really isn't valuable at all. Or at least it's not, not as valuable. Um, yeah, this is kind of a tough one to uh kind of a tough one to go for, to be honest. We could just go with straight up damage against unholy. This guy doesn't have the highest damage as is. That's maybe not the best idea. Um Hmm. Honestly, I think that that's like a decent idea. Going with the um, going with the blight on here. I know it's kind of an odd one, but it does give him some prot as well, which works nicely with his hard skinned. And then here, I think we just go for outright flat damage. He's got loads of HP and everything, so he doesn't need any prot. Um, he does have demon hater as well, which is ho oh, oh, ho, very nice for where we're going right now. Um. And then it's just Aaron that we need to sort of work on. So I think Aaron, we definitely want to go with um, damage against Unholy. Uh, I think that that's gonna that's that's really gonna buff up his damage quite a lot. And then I think we can probably just go with the um, go with the syringe to be honest, and just go with some extra healing there. Uh, minus twenty percent from disease. What disease does he have? The creeping cough. Okay, so he does unfortunately have a a flat to minus damage. Which is unfortunate, I have to say. Uh, but he's actually looking okay here nonetheless. Crit chance is pretty bad. I think still this this is a good way of uh, us dealing some extra damage with this guy. And let me just check the rest of everyone. So we wanna really be um we wanna really be marking everyone whenever possible. And using friendly skills to buff them. Attack skill mark self for two rounds. That's gonna be intriguing. Um, I think that maybe actually we can take this off and swap it for something that's going to be more defensively heavy, such as this. 
extra HP and extra prot, just because they're going to be taking a lot of the damage. I think that works out quite nicely. Let's go with that. Let's try that out. It's a little bit of an odd one. Uh, let's just make sure that everything can be used from the positions we're in. It looks that way. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and a short mission. It's Like I said, it's only a short one. A little bit of a short episode here, but we can grab our provisions. Grab up everything we can. We're only on a short mission here, so we maybe don't need all of that. Good, good. And then let's, uh, let's embark and see what we can get done here. I think this is... A reasonable ensemble of uh, of of our characters. I'm not sure what that text there means, but I'm a bit scared by it. Level five uh, ruins are actually pretty dangerous for us because they do uh, include some of the modded enemies, and we've seen a few of them before that can be really, really nasty. I'm really hoping that um, that we're able to quite quickly take out a lot of them. I think we have a good amount of damage spread across the board with everyone. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be lacking behind too much in the damage department. I think hopefully we should be able to pretty easily take out whoever we need to. Uh, it, I'm really just worried about a few specific enemies that we've come across in the past that I, I'm not the best at dealing with. But here we go. We're in. Must be driven back. And as you can see, this is a really short mission. My god. Um, of course, we've managed to take a lot of damage right off the bat there, but we can heal that up. Yeah, this is a very, very short mission. That's surprising. We might even get some courtyard enemies in here as well. Did I forget to bring torches? Yes, I did. Okay. That's the first time I've done that in a long time. This is going to be fun. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm going to stick with this. We can bail if things get really, really bad. But a low, a low light mission, they're kind of fun. They're kind of fun. Minus that. That's a that's a very strong debuff right there. Um, Right. Horror amount applied. Okay, I think we go like that. And like that. Get the mark going and everything. That's going to pull you forward. Yeah. That's actually not terrible, I don't think. Um, try and take you out. Okay. It does stop you from using Word of Power. Let's just move you there just so we can get an attack out with you. Oh, God. This is scary. I can't believe I forgot torches. It's the first time I've ever done that on this series. Yes, Luckily, we're getting one-shot kills here. That's good. Cruel mockery. That's some horror coming in. <laughs> the stress is going to hit hard. The stress is going to hit real hard here, but that is a big, big crit. Wow. And we've been moved back once more. It's okay. Word of power. Um, You are unholy. Unfortunately, it missed. That's, some, that's a real big shame right there. Um, You do have the ability to clear horror, don't you? You do. That's really nice. Okay. I'm going to just heal you up. It's a good heal. And I'm going to I'm going to do this just to get our prot going. Heals everyone up but gets our prot going, which is more important, I feel like. Bump in the night, that's not too bad. It blights you as well. I'm glad I brought that. Um Good, good. Ah, I resisted the stun. God damn it. Stun on 50% and he resisted it. Kind of crazy. Okay, so stress levels are going to go absolutely through the roof here. To a blow. This is real bad already. Holy hell. Real bad already. I don't like uh, Urku being back like this. I'm going to have to move you. So Urku needs to be able to strike. That did fucking nothing. Holy hell. This guy has a lot of prop though, so that's why. I can't believe I forgot torches. Oh no, Urku, he can't be missing right now. Honestly, I think we're fucked. <laughs> I think we have to leave this mission. Like, we are taking so much damage. This battle is taking literally forever. Six healing, my god. This might be a little too much for us. 
It's this dude. This dude wrecked us. Really wasn't expecting it. Therefore, nice. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Maintain the offensive. Oh, look at this. Look at this dude. There's so much stress. He gets blighted every time. That's good. Oh my god. What's going on with the dodges right now, guys? What's going on with the dodges? Please stop. That's not enough. Minus six isn't worth both of our actions. Okay, that isn't both of our actions, actually. That's good. Oh my god, this is stressful. One HP. Okay, Blight will kill you at least. Oh my god. Well then. I can't believe this went so poorly so fast. We're going to get some stress checks here. We got some mosquitoes here. Maddening wine, of course. There's our first stress check. Oh no, that didn't quite get him. One off. A thirst coming in. Now would be a great time to get the fucking uh, the curse, I'm sure. Lots of stress. Yeah, there you go. There's a stress check. Paranoid, of course, of course. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Get a block on you, why not? Oh, <laughs> the dodges are so annoying. Oh, we just can't hit anything. It's so frustrating. <laughs> it's so frustrating. We just can't hit anything. All right, we've got good healing at least. Everyone's everyone's doing well on that wise. But yeah, we, we basically just can't hit anything. Of course, that removed our block and gave us stress. 99 again. We haven't dealt any damage yet so far, so that's good. There's some damage, but he healed through most of it. How are you doing so well on your stress levels? One stress, good. Yeah, this isn't good. What does he? Uh, what does he do? So annoying when you. When it doesn't let you like select a character. I'm trying to right-click Oku now. It just doesn't let me. I don't know why. Oh right. I don't know what he does. Okay, he just punches people at random. Good. Destroyed. He seems to get a lot of damage. Okay, of course Aaron refused healing. Not like you need it or anything, Aaron. Oh my god. And there's the curse. <laughs> oh, this has gone awfully. We 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 can't carry on. We have to leave. What a what an awful episode. <laughs> what a truly awful episode. What are you doing? God's sake. Stop. Oh, stop refusing healing, you fucking moron. Oku's like the only one that can do anything, and he just keeps punching everyone. Oh my god. Nah. Nah. Bye. A wise general cuts losses and regroups. Yay. Vigorous. Good. How on earth did I forget no torches? Anyways, that was no just the worst and the most pointless thing I've literally ever done. Like, that was literally the, 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 the biggest waste of my time and resources ever. The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension. Are, all regions now hold rare and powerful enemies. Oh my here. god, that sounds awful. Why? <laughs> Right, that was literally so pointless, but it was bound to happen at some point, wasn't it? It was bound to happen at some point. Anyways, everyone get in there for stress relief now. Literally everyone, please. Can I... 
Big old waste of money. Big old waste of time. I hope you guys enjoyed that because that was just, just the worst. How did I forget torches? How did I forget torches? How on earth did I forget torches? It's, it's crazy how big of a difference it makes for getting torches too. Like that team was so good, but like so ill prepared. I mean, I forgot to level everyone up as well. I Obviously my brain wasn't in it there. I know that this has been like just a complete disappointment of an episode, but I feel like I covered everything I wanted to cover today. And I honestly, <laughs> I'm not in the mindset to go for another one, I don't think. Um, that obviously just went the worst it possibly could have done. Like the possible worst. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to go for another one or not. Like I, I don't really feel like I'm ready. <laughs> uh... Let's see if we can create a decent enough team for me to want to go. Um, you can stay there. Venus, you can go there. I'm going to say, you can do that, can't you? The shard growth thing. We need someone else with healing, though. We don't really have many other people with healing. We have Mary, who can heal a bit. Um, that seems decent. Can only do that there. That stuns and debuffs. That blights and bleeds. The good debuff on prop. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh. Right. Let's let's take a little look here at what we've got going on. Um. Because we can do like rage or whatnot to get that massive damage buff. Rage. It bleeds and then self activates for a post, minus his HP. An interesting one. Minus is 24 HP. We've also got that. Yeah, let's let's do let's do another one. Let's do another short one. I know this has gone just awfully so far, so don't judge me. Okay. You we just want flat out damage. Uh we'll resort these. So let's grab. Let's grab the Bracer. Your crits don't really matter, unfortunately. Um, but I feel like accuracy does, so I'm going to give you one of these anyways. Um, you, I feel like I'm going to give you that as well. Uh, along with, let's, let's go full on crit with you, shall we? Uh, what's the other really good crit thing? We've got the, the Singing Blade, which is always nice. Uh, although your stress levels aren't going to get too high anyway. So maybe we want something that's got a little more oomph to it. In terms of the crits de dealt. Have a little look-see. Don't know what else we've got that gives crit, to be honest. There you go, that's good. Bypass stealth. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then you, you can go with the restoration head, wherever that is. I can remember where the heads are. Restoration head, where are you? This one, yeah, plus 20% restoration, and then giving us plus 20 stress as well. Yeah, well, we'll give you that for now, and then what else should we give you? Hmm, I'm not quite sure. So you have the ability to hit multiple targets, right? Although, no, not with the current setup we've got going on, you don't. Okay, so let's just go with something that's going to help you out a little bit then. Um, let's just go with the head, shall we? Where's, where's, the, where's the helmet? There it is. Plus 20 prop, not that helmet. That's the wrong one. There's another helmet. There it is. That one's really good on you, I think. And then you, we definitely want to go with extra healing there. And... We'll go with some more extra healing from somewhere else. I guess we just go last light with you, even though last light isn't too good because we're only going to be healing one person at a time. I still feel like it's helpful. Um, back line, back line, back line. Okay, so we need to swap these two around just to make sure that you can get in your uh, wreath, whatever it's called there. Um, yeah, we're going into the wield right and. Damage Reflection's an interesting one. We could go with the, the Yoke here for the extra stun. I actually think that the stun's a little better here. Uh, 
and sacrifice heal party uh guard allies and give horror okay do you know what actually let's go with let's go with that and go with sacrifice and just try that out Okay, so let's let's jump into another mission here. A uh, little bit of a longer episode than normal, most likely here, but that first one doesn't really count, does it? How did I get torches? Right, torches. Just grab it all. Grab it all. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. That was so dumb. We've got, we've got everyone trinketed up. Everyone's pretty much ready to go here. Right. Short champion mission. Embark. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm mentally ready for another one here, but... We need to at least get someone leveled up. I need to be making the most of our episodes here. And honestly, I don't want to cut episodes too short. I know that sometimes it's the right thing to do if you're just not in the frame of mind. But I feel like today we need to get some progress. And I I messed up real bad. I messed up really bad. So let's uh, let's try this out. We should have a lot of damage here with this group. I just feel like our healing is going to be a little bit compromised, to be honest, compared to normal. I don't feel like we're going to have anywhere near as much the healing as we normally would. But at least we have a light this time. Don't care about that for now. I will, however, use this. Good, good. Waiting to be spent. Of course, we've got to come across a trap there. That's only stress, though. I'd, I'd rather have the stress-based trap, especially on her, who actually gains benefits from being stressed. And of course, we've got some courtyard enemies. But we did get the surprise, which is... Very, very good for us. Um, yeah, let's start out with that. They got hit him, but for both Blight and Bleed, that's really good. Then you will hit you with that. It stresses us out a bit, but we get a lot of stuff for stressed. Makes you two about. Sunder for the knockback. Oh, and a nice bit of damage there. This has been good so far. This is a good grouping. As I said, I'd rather if anyone's going to be getting stressed, I'd rather it be her, because she's got a really good way to cure herself, and she gains bonuses, so... Probably a stun coming in here. Yeah. I had a feeling there was. We are taking some pretty, pretty huge damage right now, honestly. Nice one. Pick out that corpse. 16's pretty good, not great. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Another stun? No, that's just the bleed. Okay, uh, this time let's go with this. Stress heals us, heals us, gives us some prot, and gives us a nice amount of restoration for the next round. More bleed coming in here. That's okay, we can sort of get all that off in one go here. Nice. Good thing about percent heals. They're going to be really, really good against on this dude. Right. Sunder will just take them both out. And we hit for 41. It's pretty good. Heal up a little bit with you and you. Oh, my God. 100% of rune battles here, so we do have to go down this way. Packs laden with loot. Often low on supplies. Right, it's empty. Still, though, this grouping's good. Ooh, we do have some observed enemies here. Intriguing. Um, what sort of stun chance we got on you? Yeah, let's just stun you. What? How are people resisting stuns like this? I don't get it. Of course, we got a crit on her. Just more stress coming in. Conservation going on, whatever it's called. Should, should have cleared that blight as well, to be honest, but it's okay. I'm liking this combo of the whirlwind attack and the uh, attack that the barbarian does. A little stress there, that's okay though. Goggins Gaze, select a hero. I'm going to select you. Stun for a round. Yes, yeah, sun Sunder with the whirlwind is really good. I also do a lot of double damage here. Escape Cloud. Everyone's just got tons of blight on them here. Cure off all of this blight because it's getting on my nerves. 
Nice. Ah, oh, I whirlwind attack before realizing it wasn't going to hit them both. Another glare coming in. This has been a very tough enemy. There you go. The double crit. Right, first of all, let's just get rid of all of this blight because it's just annoying on you and you. And then eating again, honestly. I know that we're going to need that food eventually, but honestly, it's getting kind of annoying. Okay, push forward. Oh my god, this has been a stressful day. Stressful day of Darkest Dungeon. But they are going to happen sometimes. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. No camping, luckily. Hopefully we don't get any more food checks. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Okay, we one of these is a room battle, possibly both. I'm going to guess just one of them, though. I can't believe I forgot torches. How stupid am I? The way is lit. The path is clear. Okay, this isn't too bad, but we do have an observed. Only the strength to follow it. Just do that. You do have the buff on the first round. That's okay. They have buffed speed and debuff our speed. That's fine, though. Let's get some restoration going. Not really used that yet. Definitely go with that. Push them back a little bit. And Sunder gets a kill immediately. Really? Straight away? <laughs> I saw that coming, but like, come on now. I love the way he looks when he's stunned there. That's cool. Nice. I love these things. They look so cool. Can you please stop? <laughs> well struck. Yeah, that thing's dead at least. They just keep creating more of them. Don't stun me, please. As the good, good. Insta-kill them all. Let's insta-kill them all here. You go down. Are you kidding me? This is mental. How they're doing it so often. I've never seen this before. There you go. Gone. My god. We did it. We did a thing. Very short mission there, but we at least achieved something this episode now. Even though I don't think this is going to level anyone up. Corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Oh, nope. We got fragment leveled up at least. Never one got quite close. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Quite a stressful one, definitely. Um, and yeah, hope to see you guys in the stream soon as well. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.